guys, hope you're well. So, I'm doing a few videos using the Turbo Yeast, uh, the Turbo Yeast 48, and well, one of the things that you normally use are one of these sachets. This is Turbo Carbon. Uh, you use it for removing off flavors and all the rest of it in your brews. Now, I thought to myself, you could buy this. I mean, it only works out at like three or four pounds, depending on where you buy it from, sometimes a little bit more. But it's basically just activated carbon. I mean, it's got some thickening agent in it, which is exanthia gum, and also a preservative, um, uh, sodium metabisulfate, of course, um, all in a little liquid bag. Now, the reason it's got a preservative is because it's a liquid, and the exanthia gum, I don't know, it makes it feel cool when you're playing with the packet. But I thought to myself, could you make activated carbon that you could use in your homebrew cheaper? easier and without the preservatives and the thickener because well that's just extra stuff to stop it from going off so that's exactly what we're going to do pretty cool so carbon or activated carbon is used quite a lot i mean it's got a load of uses from air purification to water purification it's even used as hospitals so it's got a lot of uses now there is just ordinary carbon which does the same job just not as well and then you've got activated carbon, which is the same stuff as we use in home brewing and also air purification. Now, basically, it just latches on like a sponge to certain impurities uh, and then takes it out and holds on to it, at least for a little while, which is pretty cool. Now, I went online and I bought some fish activated carbon. It's what they use in the filters to filter out the rubbish in tropical fish tanks. Now it is A grade, the purest they can find. Now I've chosen aquarium stuff over any other type of thing because I know it's chemical free. Because fish die very, very easily. So if there was chemicals on this carbon, it would probably kill the fish. Whereas if you're using other sources of carbon, uh, like the stuff that they use in um, carbon filters for air purification, it can be sprayed with chemicals which aren't necessarily good for you. So high quality is the key. Now where this one sachet is about three or four pounds, a kilo, uh, this is just part of it, worked out at about five pounds for A quality activated carbon. So I get a lot more carbon and in theory, it's also just as good, if not better than the stuff used in this. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and make some, because we can. So I was thinking to myself, why not just add the carbon in as is? I mean, in theory you could, but we're talking about surface area. Well, these are like small little grains, uh, about five mil thick, 10 millimeters long, some of it five. It just doesn't have enough surface area. I'd have to add in a lot more of this carbon to get it to, um, do the same job as this. This is why it's all really fine particles. So, it's a very straightforward task. I've got myself a coffee grinder because it's heavy duty. And as well, because it's carbon, I can just dust it out. And it doesn't really matter if I get a little bit of carbon in my coffee. Carbon isn't bad for you. It's actually good for you. So, I'm just going to be cool and just pour in these, yeah, just, not that much. That is, according to uh, according to this, about eight cups worth of coffee. That should be plenty to do many batches of uh, carbon filtered brews. There we go. Now comes the fun stuff. Let's grind it up. So, oh yeah. I want it on 12 because I want it super fine. And now, let's grind it. It's not on fire. No, it's not on fire. Woo! That is super fine. So... We're just gonna give this a minute or two to settle out before we crack this open and see what we got. 
So I've left it alone for a couple of minutes just for the, the carbon particles to settle out. That's why I don't want them everywhere. But it's, uh, oh yeah, it's definitely gritty now. Let's put it out. You can see just how fine that is. It's coating everything in black dust. That is super fine carbon. I mean, that's, that's all it basically is. It's really fine stuff now. So it's got a much larger surface area, so it should be a lot better at removing off flavors in booze. It's only one way to find out. So I've got myself a clean Ziploc bag as well. It's gonna suck trying to store it in anything else. And uh, now I've got to try and put this in here. Now this normally goes horribly wrong, so let's. Oh, that's super fine, really fine powder. It goes. Oh. to get a little powder everywhere but this is super fine carbon powder now that's pretty cool actually very easy as well uh, just very messy maybe use a funnel because I've got all this carbon powder anyway I'm just gonna clean up right so I have mostly cleaned up uh, the carbon is pretty damn fine I mean it is like flour and uh, this shall be used in some upcoming videos to test it out but I wanted to do this individual video uh, just so well I could talk a little bit about carbon because well, it's cool stuff anyway I really hope you enjoyed this video guys don't forget to check out some of the other ones and well subscribe if you feel like it get around homebrewing guys see you later so I just want to take a second to thank my patrons uh, they're helping me grow the channel, upgrade my equipment, all of that fantastic stuff. And as a thank you to them and for future patrons, I also do four Patreon-only videos per month. So it's pretty handy if you want a little bit extra. Um, so there's some other links to videos down below and of course the Patreon and subscribe button. Don't forget to check those out. See ya.